Do you know that uh, problem, that uh, luxury problem? When you're known among friends and family to be into technology and electronics, it always seems like whenever somebody wants to get rid of uh, his computer, his or her computer, it always comes your direction. So it, uh, well, it went amazingly fast. Um, essentially, just a few months ago, I threw out all the computers I had, simply because I just didn't want to waste any more space with them, and I really only kept the best one I had, which is uh, this one, a 2 gigahertz Pentium 4 with uh, 2 gigs of RAM and all sorts of uh, fancy features and functions. Well, it didn't take long until, of course, I uh, moved my main computer into a new case. So, I got this thing. That is standing around. Then, my brother built a new computer, a, uh, a gaming computer. Or, actually, I built it. He just chose all the parts. So, his old computer went my way, obviously. So, that's what this one is all about. And then, the most recent thing that happened was my father, uh, seeing how well my brother's computer worked, he also wanted to have a new computer that, uh, well, my brother selected all the parts for it and I built it. So, yes, my father's old computer is here as well. So, four computers. I already said something about this one. Uh, this one, of course, doesn't have anything in it right now. This thing is a 2.9 GHz AMD processor, uh, quad-core processor. And uh, then this one, uh, you may or may not recognize this. This is a, uh, well, let me call it the disaster computer I got back in 2010 for my 18th birthday. Um, that I just could not get to work for, uh, for what I needed it, of course, uh, mainly because I was way too lazy to uh, get used to uh, a new video editing software, and I just uh, could not get the uh, good old Windows XP Movie Maker to run on this. So uh, I finally sold this on to my father, and he used it ever since. This is a uh, 2.5 uh, gigahertz uh, Intel Core 2 Quad processor, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, the newest computer is basically this one right here. I guess you can also tell by the specification. Anyway, today the aim is to uh, minimize this whole table full of components uh, into just one case, which is most likely going to be this one over here, so that I can just get rid of all the rest, because it's just taking up space. Basically, each one of these cases has something in it that I would like to have in the new computer. Uh, this one, obviously, uh, well, this has the case that I want. Uh, these cases right here, these two are just absolute junk. Uh, this one is a cheap piece of garbage with uh, way too much glossy, glossy plastic. So I will be using this white one, although uh, it's not going to harmonize very well with uh, black drives, and I only have black drives that are modern enough to work with this whole setup. And the, uh, the front is kind of broken on this. Two of the uh, tabs on this side are gone, so... You can kind of pull the front off, so it's a little imperfection, but all in all, it's going to be based on this case over here. Now, then we're just going to uh, go and, uh, well, we're just going to pick out whatever happens to be the best uh, in all of this. Uh, this one right here, as I just said, has the best uh, processor, AMD quad-core 2.9 gigahertz. I'm not sure uh, how the energy efficiency is with this one. Um, however, uh, it also comes with the most modern motherboard. So uh, with this one over here, uh, this has a kind of an old motherboard. Uh, it does have uh, more features and uh, connections on it than uh, 
this one right here. However, uh, it uses DDR2 RAM while this already uses DDR3. And then, as I just said, all the other components we're going to need, well, we're just going to pick whatever happens to be best. So anyway, I'm now going to start by uh, clearing out this case right here and uh, taking the motherboard out of this computer right here. Thank you.